these opinions and these fears and, you know, be sort of cautious about what you say. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of the Tan Horse Monkey YouTube channel. We are on our way to Kentucky Lake. I'm going to jump in the boat with my buddy Darius. We have a BFL tomorrow. Well, we, I have a BFL tomorrow. Today is Friday, so I'm going to get out there in the water and snip around and see what's going on. A little chilly this morning, uh, 30 degrees when I woke up. And that's kind of been the story for this late winter spring period. A lot of cold fronts, a lot of ups and downs. We had some really nice weather. And then Tuesday, we had a storm system blow through. A little wind damage in the area. A little bit of rain and some cooler temperatures. So we're just kind of in that up and down pattern. You know, the fish are wanting to move up and spawn. And some of them have spawned, but then we get these cold fronts and they kind of put things on hold, maybe back out a little bit. Water temps are most likely going to be in the mid 50s. I'll definitely give you a water temperature update and the clarity condition when we get down there. The lake is on the rise. I checked yesterday and it was at 357. This is that time of the year where they try to they let slowly start pulling it up to summer pool, which I believe is 359. The winter pool is like 354. So it's, it's right there in that, you know, the midway point of being at Summer Pool. And that's kind of when those, from what I've heard, um, I'm definitely not a Kentucky Lake expert, but I fished down there enough to hear the chatter about the fish spawn. And they like that water to be coming up. They don't want to be spawning uh, when it's really, really up because they typically pull it down and the beds are high and dry. So they like it to come up and kind of stabilize. And that's certainly what is going on. Really looking forward to it. We got sunshine today. It's uh, it's like I'm looking at 35 degrees right now, but the sun is out. The wind's not supposed to blow. It's been blowing pretty intensely for the last couple of days. We had some pretty significant north winds, uh, you know, 20 to 30 mile an hour. So the lake was rocking the last couple of days. What Darius said today, it's supposed to be decent, less than 10 miles an hour, which usually means 15 on Kentucky Lake. You can almost add five to 10 miles an hour on what the weatherman says. That's just the way it is, and that lake does get rowdy. So right now, it, it seems pretty calm. Bluebird skies, the sun is out. It's supposed to cloud up a little bit. Tomorrow, same thing. It's gonna be cool in the morning, but I do think we're gonna get up in the high 50s. So that's good. You just gotta get through that morning period. That little boat runs a little crisp, and things start to uh, warm up. Things start to wake up. Yeah, I'm hoping for a good tournament. Had a solid derby at Lake of the Ozarks on the last BFL. If you haven't checked out that video, give it a look and a thumbs up and a subscribe if you have not. The last Kentucky Lake video was not that great. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I fished with Chris Grove. We had a blast in the boat, but as far as my performance, it was not stellar. So we're hoping to do a little better today or tomorrow. But either way, we're gonna have fun, man. We're fishing, we're off work. God is good, life is good, and sometimes that's all you can ask for. So I will see you on the water. And, I, and I'm not doing it for any other reason because what an opportunity to um, you know, step away from the Elite Series and step right into, I, I seen a lot of high school and college anglers this past weekend, um, you know, the, the classic Red Crest and my brother's event, and, you know, the cost of the entry now is Hi folks, we made it to Kentucky Lake. Not a bad drive, actually made pretty good time. Here with Darius, what's up my man? We're gonna have fun, I'm looking forward to this. I love fishing with uh, with different people. It's a great way to learn different things and we're at the Fenton boat ramp. So we're getting ready to drop this sucker in and go out there and 
catch a few fish. We got, it, it feels good out here. I mean, it's cold. It's like um, kind of mid thirties, but the sun is out and the wind's not supposed to blow. It's supposed to, it's supposed to stay sunny for the most part, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So things are looking good. We're gonna dump this boat in and go have fun. On the board. All right, here we go. First fish of the morning. A little tube, a little crocodile tube. Stupid style, because sometimes we like to be stupid. Bite. Definitely some buck buck bass up there. There you better fish. No. Oh. Sauger, what the heck? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. They got sharp gill plates like walleye. Yeah. Is that a good eating size right there? Got to be fifteen. Yeah. Got to be fifteen. I thought it was a flathead. Must be camping out up there or something. There's some people giggling in the woods. Line jump. Yeah, he just pulled back on. I think there's another little one. There you go. A little, bit, a little bit better. Moving the right direction. There you go. Stupid tube in the grill. Yeah, but my buddy Joe's got his old black and blue lizard on. He likes throwing a black and blue Texas rig lizard this time of year. There's a guy fish used to fishing nine nine bass club. And we fished this lake called Horseshoe Lake over an olive branch, and it's a super tough lake. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. I got that hook open too much. Anyway, he caught like a six pounder in a tournament. We only keep one fish in that club, and he caught it on a black salamander with yellow dots. And everybody was trying to find those, and they did not, they do not make them anymore. I remember spending like an hour on the internet trying to find, you know, just some old, some dude on eBay that had just had an old pack laying around he was trying to get rid of. And... Water. Is that your water? No, Oh, okay. I guess I stole one of your waters. I've been fishing out a lot of bass cats lately and they got like 10 cup holders in their boat. There, there's definitely some fish up shallow. I mean, I like to, like you said, I like to pop like a three pounder or so. That was about a 14 incher. He came flying out of there. So you got a new puppy dog? Yep, new shih tzu puppy. Nice, Finley's a schnoodle. Did you fish this lake, you know, like five years ago when it was really tough? Oh, maybe they're spawning right there. You're coming right about where I got that bite at, I think. Probably, that's probably the guy that was messing with me right there. I just had another one pick it up, start moving off with it. About halfway to the boat. Hook up with Brent Anderson one day, maybe. He's a good dude. Where did he fish at when he won the Toyota? Does he fish up there in the... I think he fished in the river. Actually held on to it that time. It was right off the end of that log. This fish is built right, he's pretty tall. No, he's not. He's been eating properly. Does Ron have a place up there to relax? No, we, he had a buddy, uh, Jason, that had a house literally like a mile from the lake by Garrison. And uh, he sold that. He got, he got a girlfriend, he got married and had a kid and then he sold it and moved to Minia Minneapolis. Pretty slim pickings. I mean, Gar I think Garrison's got some places to stay. Be a good spot for a, like a, a floating worm or a fluke or something, maybe. Another one of those weird fish. I'm on them. Dang, those are really cool looking fish. <laughs> I 
I like their eyes. That iridescent look to them. Yeah, that folks. You don't see that every day. He caught that in the air. I thought I was hung on a flower. Yeah. It's a little bit better. Built right. All right. I know, I know I'm throwing this tomorrow. One of them co-angler keepers. Yeah, he's pretty dang close. It's a hundred. I think it's 110 for a co-angler, 220 for a boater. And it's like a... They raised the annual membership to like 95 bucks, which is crazy. That's boy it is. <laughs> well, we fund the BPT, really. Yeah, I know. Because the payback's not that great. I made like 500 and I think my check was like 565 bucks for fifth place. It's pretty much first gets, I think first got, that was with 180 boats too. First is like 2,600 bucks or something. Second's like, I don't know, like 16 or 17. And it just, Starts falling off pretty fast. I don't think I don't think the BPT is going to be around much longer. They're talking about they're really struggling financially. I could see bass buying the whole thing. God, I know that was a bite. A thousand percent sure. There's a fish sitting down there somewhere. I think they're out just a little deeper. Came back, got it, huh? Nice. Heck yeah, there you go. Is that a little hard head? Yep. Cool, back here spawning I do believe. I'm thinking really hard about it. Y'all have the same good weather now we have. Yeah. They've been bad. It seems like when they started relying on that computer generated stuff more, the, their forecast has gotten less accurate. We got a guy that really likes to sell groceries around. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. He came flying out of it. Right that. where it should be. Yep. That was a cool bite. I got to see the whole thing. Right at that little point. That's keeper. Yeah, good fish. Heck yeah. Look at that. I mean, he ate it. Go folks. A little E-Factor spinner bait. Nice. I mean, do you think that fish ate that or what? <laughs> That's impressive. Like chompa, chompa, chompa. It's a good one. That's what we need. I need five of those tomorrow. Way back here and that fish was in like two foot of water, guys. So when they say five to 10 on Kentucky Lake, it's usually 15 to 20. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look good. Oh yeah, it's a keeper. Oh yeah, solid fish. Heck yeah. Yep. I think that's what we need to do. Nice. Good work. See, you'd be a great co angler. Throwing out of the back of the boat. All righty, folks. Midday report. Um, we're having fun, man. We're catching a lot of fish. We've caught several keepers, a lot of short fish. Um, just basically dragging something on the bottom i mean we've caught them on drop shot and ed rig shaky head tube the tube for me has been the most consistent but i think you could probably drag just about anything around and get a bite just um you know i don't i don't know that all the big ones darius was saying a lot of the bigger smallmouth have probably already spawned and moved out a little deeper but we're catching mostly largemouth we've caught a few smallmouth but it's just been mainly largemouth um the flowers See these pretty yellow flowers? If you ever fish Kentucky Lake, Barkley Lake, and the water's in the flowers, you need to give them a look because we've caught several several fish out of the flowers. I, actually, the best fish I caught, I think, today was on a spinnerbait. I forgot about that, but it was in the flowers. Water temps, uh, I'm showing 60 degrees right here. 60 degrees. We have a pretty significant north wind. It wasn't supposed to blow today, but you know, that's how it is. The weatherman says it's not gonna blow. It typically does. Shout out to the weatherman. 
Uh, so we're just kind of, we're kind of, um, with, we don't really have any choice but to fish back in these bays. Um, Darius had a couple spots out in the main lake and stuff we were wanting to check out, but it's, it's rolling pretty good out there. So we're just poking around, running down these little creek channels and getting our line tights. It is fun. Okay. There he is. Oh, he came off. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Didn't even feel him. My line just started moving. Must be a bed right there. Got him. Starting to get into a little bit better fish. Yeah, I'm out here in a little bit, just to get a, another confidence bait going. I'm gonna try to get a few bites on this drop shot. There's one right there. Ah, he came off. What is going on with that? Yeah, I had him, I turned him. They de seem to be okay fish. I mean, at least the size of that one you just caught. I mean, there's another one. thing I don't like about drop shot is it gets all twisted up a lot. You see where 27 pounds won the Jenna Marine? No, I didn't see that. Last week, last Saturday. He won it. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. All smallmouth. 27 pounds. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing. 27 pounds of smallmouth. I mean, that's as good as any lake in the country. 24 is amazing. God, I'm getting bite on every cast with this thing. There's a ton of fish up there shallow for sure. Oh, I thought that was the one. I set the hook, he must've been on a piece of wood. I set the hook and it went right into that log and it just got heavy <laughs> and I, could, I knew it was a fish. Tattoo. Yeah. It's like one of them Lake of Egypt fish. I got a jig. Oh, there you yeah, it's a jig. At least a five pound. That's a classic spot right there. That's the male for a I only got fish that just hit that. Yeah, I had to run all the way down it. Seems like they hit whatever you got on the bottom. We got jig, drop shot, uh, hard head. Oh yeah, it's good fish. Good fish. Out there doing what he's supposed to be doing. Nice. Heck yeah. Nothing wrong with that one. That was a big fish. <laughs> he just those flowers just started laying over. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Yes, sir. I don't know, man. That, that fish had some weight to it though. Yeah. I wasn't ready for it. I just kind of weenie pulled on him. Wow. I blew that. Get those out of the way today. There's another bite. It's a keeper. That ain't, I don't think that's fish that just hit though. <sighs> Decent fish. Take him tomorrow. Yeah, it is. I think the big mama's still up in there somewhere. Uh -oh. I was like, uh oh, I lost my bait. I can 
<laughs> yeah, you called you called the last two spots. It's like you've been here before. Way out there, huh? Where's all the smallmouth? Catching some keepers? Not like giants, but that's what I need, man. I get five of those, I'll be in top ten. Just get a one, like a four pounder to go with it. Oh, uh, we yeah, we. I mean, we're catching some fish. It's it's slow, but oh, he just got one. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely fish up shallow. Smallmouth. Hey, we caught a smallmouth finally. No small mouth? Nope. Oh. Bug. Imagine that. Yeah, this watercolor is perfect for June bug. my boater uh, actually we're morning of the tournament but I talked to my boater last night and we're gonna be doing some shallow fishing which is cool because that's what I did with Darius so I was hoping I'd draw somebody that's fishing shallow um, now we'll see if he's covering water really fast shallow or fishing kind of slow I'm hoping for the latter but we're gonna keep our heads down and stay focused regardless um, happy birthday to Joe thank you man happy birthday you look great for 45 <laughs> yeah I'm just holding anyway <laughs> So what's your plan today, buddy? Uh, you, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to go shallow pretty well everything we got on practice with shallow too. So we just hope we can get a few big ones to get some kickers. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of small fish. A lot of small fish. But yeah. that's a good sign for the river. It's yeah. getting better. Yeah, it's the river is looking healthy. And um, those small fish are up there for a reason this time of year. They're rooting around looking for uh, places to make a bed. and. I think some of the fish have spawned maybe and pulled off, but probably smallmouth. They typically spawn a little bit earlier. I mean, we found, what'd you find in the morning water temperatures? Uh, was around 57, 58 degrees. And what it warm up to? A 60s, how's it got? Okay, that's kind of that's kind of what we saw. We got on, we didn't get on the water till probably 8.30, but we did see some 59 and 60, maybe 61 degree temperatures. Uh, so that's, that's spawning water. Um, smallmouth do spawn earlier than largemouth and um, I think based on some of the weights that were in the Jetta, Tur Jetta Marine tournament last, I think it was last week, they had like 27 pounds, 24 pounds, M most of them were smallmouth. I'd say some of those were definitely up there spawning um, and this is just speculation, but it is that time of year and it's getting ready to happen. Largemouth follow later, they're up there rooting around too. So it's not out of the question that somebody could bring in, you know, a 20 plus pound bag, but we did have cold front come through um, and a lot of wind. A ton of wind. I think smallmouth's gonna be the big dictator again. Yeah. Whoever gets on that smallmouth bite. It's been a smallmouth lake, you know? It used to be a largemouth lake, but it's a smallmouth lake now. It's changed. It's, it's, it's got a lot, there's a lot of like four to five pound smallmouth. We talked to a guy last night that's staying next to us and his buddy called us six something, he six said. Up, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's that is world class smallmouth fishery here at Kentucky Lake. So I'm gonna put this camera down. Um, Appreciate you watching the video. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will have a tournament video coming after this. Hopefully I have some fish catches. Hopefully it's a little bit better than the last tournament. Had fun with Chris Grohl in the last tournament, but we gotta, we gotta up the ante a little bit and catch a few fish. So until next time.